so welcome to the Blanca Project. So today I have an awesome video for you guys. This is my first video as I'm back from my vacation and I'm so excited. I haven't even done my makeup, my hair, nothing. I just wanted to come on here and do a video for you guys. So we've been gone for about a week. Um, we finished all of our food, obviously not the pantry because this still has a lot of food, but everything in our refrigerator is pretty much empty. So I was so excited to go grocery shopping today. I was so excited. Like it's not even... I don't think it's normal how excited I was to just go grocery shopping. So today I decided to go to 99 cents only store and to Trader Joe's. I don't normally shop at Trader Joe's, but every once in a while I go in and I just buy a couple things and that's about it. But today I decided to just go and do half of my groceries there just to see the price difference. It definitely was a lot more expensive than it would have been at my regular grocery store. But I don't know. I'm kind of excited to try these new things. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll start with Trader Joe's first. All right, so the first thing I purchased at Trader Joe's was this pork loin, and this is a total of $4.14, and it has almost a whole pound in here. This is what that looks like. I'm actually gonna grill those up, and um, also serve them with some brown rice and some veggies on the side, I think. The next thing I bought were two salads. One of them is a Southwest salad. It looks like this. Another one is the Pasadena salad. I assume I might not want to cook a lot this week, so I figured these would be great for lunches and super quick lunches. Another thing I bought are these Trader Joe's Crunchy Curls, and these are actually lentil chips. Lentil chips are actually really good, and they're a lot healthier than regular potato chips. I bought in a bag of organic green, be green beans. These are actually a lot of green beans in here. It's a total of a pound. That's a lot of green beans. I think those were like $1.50 or something, I think. I bought some chicken fried rice. I thought these looked super cool. And then at the store at 99 cents only store, I actually bought some egg rolls. So I figured pairing those up would be delicious. Plus, I also bought some chicken chow mein. Gosh, I'm in like an Asian kind of meal kind of girl right now. So this is what I bought. I thought this looked delicious. Ugh. Every once in a while, I get a craving for um for Chinese food. So I think that would definitely kill my craving. And it's probably healthier than going to the regular, you know, fast food Chinese food. I know what I'm saying. I also bought some chunky spicy guacamole. This is what it looks like. This is actually super good. I don't know if any of you guys have given this a try, but if you haven't, give it a try, taste it, see if you like it. It's not super duper spicy. I'm a spicy kind of girl. I love spiciness, and that's not super spicy for me, but you know, for somebody that doesn't eat a lot of spiciness, I'm sure it would be too hot for them. But like I said, I like it. It tastes good to me. It's not overly spicy, but yeah. I also bought some oven roasted turkey breast. This is what it looks like. I actually think this was kind of like not a deal because I think this only has like seven ounces and I want to say that was like two or three dollars. That's kind of pricey for Trader Joe's, but it's Trader, again, it's Trader Joe's, so that's pricey. But so I think now, from now on, I'm definitely going to buy my deli meat at my regular grocery store. I also bought some zucchini squash. This is what it looks like. There's a total of five zucchinis in there. I thought those were great. I'm going to cut them up, put some Parmesan cheese on them, and roast them in the oven. I also picked up a bag of cut butternut squash. That's what it looks like. I'm also going to roast these in the oven and give them a try. I've actually never had that before, so we'll see if I like it. I also picked up this sliced light cheddar cheese. So it looks like, so it's white. Um, I don't think I've ever had white cheddar cheese, so I'm kind of interested to see how that tastes. I don't know. Got an onion. So I got an onion. I got some bananas, because I like bananas. We also got four oranges, four pears, and four apples. And the last thing we purchased at Trader Joe's was a huge gallon of milk. We have no food, guys. No milk. Yep. All right, so I'm going to try and do 99 cents only as well. I hope it doesn't die on me. If it does, I'll just continue on to another video. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I picked up these Junior Dippers. I actually got this for Michael. Michael loves to take those for snacks at work. 
I picked up some whole kernel sweet corn. This is a can. And I think these were like 69 cents or 59 cents, something like that. I got this Molina Mexican Vanilla Blend. And this is pretty much a vanilla extract. I actually figured out that this is actually really good for cold sores. So you just um, dunk a cotton ball into this and put it against your cold sore. And it actually heals it up faster. Gave it a try about two weeks ago when I had a cold sore. And I felt like it healed it pretty, pretty fast. So I also picked up this Campbell Sauce Grill. This is what it looks like. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. This is the flavored cheddar applewood bacon chicken. I thought it looked so good. So pretty much what you do, you grill your chicken and then you pour this on top. You pour this sauce once your chicken is cooked. And I just thought this looked really darn good. I thought so. Hey guys, so my battery died. So I went ahead and charged it. And now I'm going to continue with 99 cents only. So I think I left off with this product. And this is a Nature Valley toasted oats. And it's a, a oatmeal. It has... Toasted oats, dried cranberries, coconut, almonds, and pumpkin seeds. And I thought that sounded really, really good. This actually doesn't expire until April of this year, so I'm sure we'll use it up by then. I picked up a bag of uh, potatoes. This is the Idaho potatoes. Um, this is, I think, three pounds in here, so it's pretty good. I always buy this cheese there. And I, if I'm not mistaken, American Heritage, I think that might be a Walmart brand. I don't know. This is a shredded mozzarella cheese and this is shredded mild cheddar cheese. I always buy, the, buy them there. I picked up a little box of cherry tomatoes. I love these for my salads or just eating them plain with a little bit of salt, just a little bit. I also picked up a three of the fresh spinach bags. This has a total of six ounces. Um, I obviously use that for salads, so we also use them now that we're juicing a little bit. I've also been using them for that. Michael decided to pick up this cereal. This is sweetened puffed whole wheat cereal. This is what it looks like. This is a huge bag. This has a total of 10 ounces, but it's a lot, guys. It's a lot. So we picked up some Nabisco Newtons. Newtons, these are the ones. And they're the fig flavor. I thought they looked pretty good. And they have a total of... I don't know how many servings are in here. There are six servings in here, and two servings is a cookie, so about 12 cookies. I think that's pretty good, right? Um, I also picked up this Austin's Chocolatey Peanut Butter Crackers. So they look like there's a total of eight packages in here. And again, these are a dollar and they expire next month. I'm sure we'll eat them by then. These are for me. I picked up these rice thins. These are so good. This is the brown rice, sea salt, and pepper flavor. Oh, these are so good, guys. Um, I know they have another one that's the ranch flavor, I believe. That ranch flavor is really good, too. The next thing I got is these Nutri-Green Nutri -Green Soft Bake um, Bars, and they're the flavor Apple Cinnamon. Yummy. I thought they looked really good. We picked up five of these Top Ramen in the chicken flavor. We don't eat these a lot, so we hardly ever buy them, but every once in a while, I get a little craving for them, so I always buy them just for that. Um, I picked up a bag of broccoli and carrots mix for our dinners for sides. Um, some instant oatmeal for me and Michael for the week. I also picked up three boxes of these kiwis. Each box has about five to six kiwis. They're pretty, they're pretty good size, and these are great for juicing. This gives us so much juice. They're super good. Two more things, and we're all done. I picked up these pop chips in the sea salt and vinegar flavor. These are super good, and I'm eating chips now, so yeah. Finally. And then I picked up these Boom Chica Pup Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Kettle Corn. These are the holiday edition, so they are limited edition. So now that the stores aren't selling them, they bring them over to 99 cents store, so that benefits me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is The Blanca Project, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.